Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing with you the perfect soup uh, that will see you through this winter. I'm making broccoli cheddar soup. It's one of my favorite soups to munch on while I'm grocery shopping. I made this soup a few weeks ago and it is so, so good. I hope you guys give it a try and let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start by melting in some butter in a saucepan and sauteing about half of a yellow onion. I've chopped up the onions, so give it about two to three minutes and until it's translucent. Next, we're adding in some chopped garlic for flavor, followed by our spices. I'm using cayenne pepper, nutmeg, black pepper, and salt, all the very simple ones that you always have in your pantry. And if you don't, then you should. Uh, now give it a nice stir until your onions are nicely coated in the spices. Now I'm adding in another two tablespoons of butter along with some flour and what I'm doing is creating what's called a roux. A roux is basically a thickening for your soup. Give it about 30 seconds until the raw taste of the flour is gone and then we're gonna add in the liquid which is chicken stock and some half and half. Give it about 10 to 15 minutes on low to medium heat uh, to thicken up. You'll know that your soup is starting to thicken up when the back of your wooden spoon is nicely coated. For vegetables, carrots and broccoli are traditionally added to the soup, so I just kept it as is. So after I added my vegetables, I'm gonna let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the broccoli is fork tender. If you plan to blend the soup, then you don't need to worry about chopping the vegetables too finely. But the best way that I like to have my soup is by blending half to three-fourths of it away uh, because it creates a lovely texture. It's not too chunky, it's not too liquid, just the right amount. After, we're gonna add in cheddar cheese. Now, pro tip is to never cook your cheese on high heat. We're melting the cheese, so make sure that your heat is very low. Leftovers should be heated on the stove on low heat because the cheese will curdle on high heat. This is the version of an unblended soup that I'm serving. If you guys like this video, please give it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. There is a bell icon down there. If you click on it, you'll be notified when I drop my next video. Over here are some delicious recipes that I think you should totally check out this winter. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!